this team is the core or is the foundation of learning today. At Crawford, we take STEAM as five disciplines in one. Let me define it for you. STEAM is S-T-E-A-M, science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. Let me take an example, science. Science, what we do, we usually lie us with the science teachers and the physics teachers to see so what have the students done in regard to electrical circuits. Then they come to the STEAM lab or the GO lab and they now assemble the circuits practically. They learn it in class theoretically and then they come and apply it practically in the STEAM lab. Technology. Once they assemble the circuits, they now learn how do they automate. Remember, automation is a key thing in today's era. Industries are, re are replacing people with machines. So automation is a key aspect of learning STEAM. So the technology bit is where we now show them. Once you assemble these electrical circuits and it has a microcontroller, how exactly do you program it to be fully autonomous? For example, you've seen um, some doors which are uh, biometrics. You've seen some cars which are fully autonomous. So it's all about automation in the technological aspect. Engineering bit, this is where we have 3D printers in the classroom. We have laser cutters. Those are existing technologies, or, or as, as I like to call them, those are stationary robots. How do you use them to build new products? So it's actually the concept of using the existing product to build a new product, somewhat like manufacturing. We also teach them how to use the laser cutter, whereby they now design the parts using uh, Tinkercad or they can use uh, RDWAX software and they can cut something from the laser cutter, something which can actually be used in manufacturing or a piece of art which is really, really appealing. In our laboratory, we not only focus on the technical aspect, we also look at how can the student get the soft skills that are needed to thrive in today's economy. Because remember, hard skills are not enough. We need a balance of the hard skills and the soft skills. So in the arts, we usually teach them, how do you approach people? How do you talk to people? How do you make people trust you within the first five minutes of talking to them? That is leadership. That is critical thinking and that is communication. Once the students learn this, they will become very confident at approaching people because remember, people are your greatest resource. So how do we do it? Once the students come up with the project and they go through the technical aspect, we usually ask them to present the project in front of the class. So they have to convince us that their solution is the best that exists. Once they manage to convince us, then we give them a mark on that and we tell them that you are now good at communication, you are good at leadership, and most importantly, you are good at influence. M stands for mathematics. The mathematics bit is where the students do a lot of design work. So if, for example, you are coding a robot or you are designing a robot that you need uh, to use a laser cutter or 3D printer, to manufacture you have to you know calculate some measurements you have to calculate the speeds mathematics is all around us in, t in terms of designs around us in terms of physics that is finding the voltage current power it is uh, in us in terms of um, you know weight distribution when it comes to building of the machines that are in the lab so as you can see those are five disciplines in one with one main aim to produce leaders critical thinkers and problem solvers Tomorrow's leaders need to be problem solvers, and that is what we are looking at. Once you solve a problem, the society repays you back. Thank you very much.